nausea. Gotta love them 80s, baby, baby. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another random horror review. I am your host Mood616 and thank you once again for stopping in guys. Yeah, episode 58 is here and just like last review I did, we're going to take it back to the 80s, specifically 1986 with a film I have not seen in so long. I barely even really remembered this film. I only remember the cool ass car from this film. Um, but I did not own this until recently and unfortunately this is not the edition that I ordered. I actually ordered the special edition one that was in widescreen. Long story short, I got this one. I'm fine with this because it was really, really cheap. I thought I was just getting a great deal on the other one, but of course it happens. And the film in question is 1986, The Wraith. Now this one right here has a lot of familiar faces in it. It's got Charlie Sheen, Randy Quaid, Sherilyn Fenn, of course, from uh, Twin Peaks, and Nick Cassavetes, who, uh, um, he directed Alpha Dog. That's how I know his name, because Alpha Dog's not a horror film, but a really, really awesome, well-made film, so... But yeah, uh, get into the synopsis of The Wraith. Basically, this one is about your main character, Carrie. Uh, she is dating this guy named Jamie in the beginning of the film. Anyways, Jamie gets, unfortunately, murdered. It kind of jumps to the present day. And uh, we get introduced to Charlie Sheen's character. He kind of rolls into town on this dirt bike and stuff. He befriends Carrie. And, uh, and also Jamie's younger brother, who uh, actually works with Carrie at this burger joint, um... And the, tr the three of them start, they become friends and they start kind of kicking it and stuff. The thing is, in the small town, it's kind of run by this uh, this motorhead gang. They're not like a biker gang, they're more into cars and things like that. They uh, they like to, you know, challenge people to races and eventually cheat and just take their cars. That's the rules. If you lose, you, you lose your car and things like that. And um, now, the leader of the gang is... is uh, played by Nick Cassavetes' character, and he's a real fucking asshole, and he's claimed that, you know, Carrie is his, his, you know, and he'll do anything to keep her in his, uh, in his ways, you know, and stuff, he's just, he loves, he, he's absolutely infatuated with this chick, and he'll do anything to keep her and stuff like that, and while this is going on, all of a sudden, this phantom, or this wraith, just kind of shows up in the town in this really cool, kind of souped up Chrysler, which is just like a fantastic looking futuristic car, um, and then all of a sudden, starts taking out these, uh, these gang members one by one, and, um, and kind of insteps Randy Quaid, who is, uh, the sheriff of the town, he starts to investigate, and everyone else is kind of wondering why all these gang members are getting taken out one by one, and kind of like remit, revenge mode a little bit, and, uh, yeah, that is your film right there. So, my thoughts on this one. Now, this is a really interesting film. Now, this one right here has a lot of different genres kind of mixed into it. It's kind of like a blend of, like, science fiction and action and horror and romance. Now, the cool thing about this film that they do really well is that none of those genres really kind of overtake another genre. It's mixed up very well. It has this very kind of low-key science fiction with a lot of action sequences, uh, obviously horror elements in it. And uh, there's a romance in there, of course, with Charlie Sheen's character and, um, you know, Sherilyn Finn's character. Yeah, so there's, it's really it's really kind of an interesting film. Uh, now, this one just looks awesome and sounds awesome. And what do I mean by that? This is a very, very 80s film from the costumes, you know, the big hair and the, you know, the slick back kind of gang look and the awesome muscle cars, just the overdone cars and things like that. Uh, the way they talk and, you know, just the whole element of gang from the 80s and stuff. Just, it's just, the dialogue is just, a, it's just so much fun to listen to and stuff. But I really like the way they look. Like, they kept that you know 80s gang mentality so well with uh with the certain makeup and uh just, it's just fantastic the awesome piercings and everything um and what i mean by sounds good it's got a great soundtrack it's got a couple artists on here music by ozzy billy idol uh uh robert palmer we got lion in there honeymoon honeymoon suite bonnie tyler the list just goes on and on but yeah it's just got a great great soundtrack to a film that's uh really well paced the pacing of this film is pretty fantastic for what it is now it's one of these type of films that you know exactly what's going on 
uh, but the characters don't, so you kind of have that going on. Um, you know, you, you pretty much know exactly who the Wraith is or who the Phantom is in the film, but it's just kind of fun to watch this film because, you know, the plot isn't that, yeah, it's not that incantry, you know, it's like, it's kind of one of those films where you're like, you can't put two and two together. I did, I had no problem with that, <laughs> but, you know, it's really not a big deal because you kind of step into the, this world where this film takes place. And you just kind of accept it. You know, it is what it is. It doesn't have, like, the craziest plot. You know, there is actually a little bit of plot holes in this one. There's things that aren't fully explained in the film. But, again, you know, you kind of put yourself into this world. And you're just like, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I know exactly, you know, what this is and where it's going. So, what is really the big deal? But, uh, yeah, it's fantastic. One of the coolest things about this film, besides the look and the, uh, the soundtrack in the film, is the awesome car sequences in this just fantastic stuff there's really good car uh races and kind of chases and things that are going on uh, mixed in with a lot of explosions now i'm not going to give away exactly how the wraith kills um, all these gang members and stuff like that but he does it with in a very explosive way if you get my drift it's really fantastic but the look of the wraith uh, and the car, just fantastic. It's so cool to see. It's just so fucking 80s, kind of futuristic looking. And uh, yeah, very, very cool, man. Really cool stuff. Um, yeah, and there's lots of cool things going on in this film. Like, you know, it kind of captures that teen kind of romance feel, uh, you know, to a minimal. But it's effective enough in itself where you're like, okay, I still can recognize that it's there, but I'm still feeling all these other elements of the film. You know, it's just got a perfect blend, you know, like I said before, so... That's fantastic. Another awesome thing, man, uh, Cheryl and Finn, you get to see her boobs in this, which is really fantastic <laughs> because she is just totally sexy, totally awesome. So that's always a bonus too. But, you know, another thing I really loved about this film was the fact that uh, where she works and, you know, her old boyfriend's uh, younger brother, they work in this burger joint. And it's one of those kind of drive-in burger joints where they bring your burgers out to you with, uh, um, you know, roller skates and things like that captured awesome really really awesome i love the feel of all the kids kind of hanging out doing their thing drinking their pops and they're drinking their milkshakes and eating their burgers and stuff yeah they capture you know a lot of that 80s essence in this film really well um i couldn't recommend this film enough it's really fantastic you know it's definitely it's definitely a popcorn flick it's not a thinker because like i said before you know exactly what's going on in this uh unfortunately the characters don't but it's just kind of funny to laugh at but uh you know it's great man awesome car sequences great explosions. Uh, Randy Quaid, you know, he's not even supposed to be funny in the film, but I can't take Randy Quaid serious at all in anything because to me, he's just funny. But so it's kind of funny to see him playing like the serious role. He's like this cop and he's like seriously trying to solve this case and stuff. It's just, it's pretty funny. But uh, yeah, The Wraith, man, you got to check this out, man. If you've never seen this film, it's a piece of 80s heaven really it's just a slice of 80s heaven it's 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 fun like i said popcorn flick but uh, very very enjoyable good stuff i'm gonna give this one an 8 out of 10 i really really enjoyed watching this again like i said the only thing i remember from it was the car and i couldn't even really remember exactly what the film was about what the motives were and why this car was there and stuff but yeah awesome stuff the wraith give it a shot if you've never checked it out Hopefully that movie gets a Blu-ray release. I would love to see a great Blu-ray that because it does look and sound fantastic. And uh, yeah, I think on Blu-ray just be just elevated, be fucking fantastic. So check out the Wraith if you've never checked it out before. Try not. I mean, this edition right here is is released by Platinum DVD. It is full screen. It's not the worst transfer. It's not even a VHS transfer, so it's not too bad. But I know there is a widescreen edition out there. But let's pray this one gets a Blu-ray release because that'd be fantastic. But yeah, the Wraith. Give it a shot, guys. I will check you next week. And as usual, 